I'm going to make a huge 10 liter natural saltwater ecosphere, a seacosphere. Right now it's summer, so there's probably a lot more life than in the other saltwater ecosphere I made last winter. A lot of seaweed has washed ashore, which hopefully means there's a lot of life here in the form of animals and also plants and algae. All necessary ingredients for a healthy ecosphere. Here's the first evidence of animal life, a hermit crab. Hermit crabs are actually very territorial and can get quite aggressive. This is the North Sea. This is seaweed. This is the ocean. Behind this man-made structure is a little warm pool where I'll be taking water and seaweed. We also need a little sand. I asked my little brother to film it, so those are his fingers you're seeing. This is the smallest crab I have ever seen, but I'm not taking it with me. Now the two jerry cans are filled with sand and water. So I caught a starfish, and starfish are predators, and apparently this sea star killed a crustacean and is now eating it. The way starfish eat is actually very interesting. They spit out their stomach and wrap it around the prey in order to dissolve and then digest it. This actually happened inside of the bottle I transported the plants in, even before it was in the ecosphere. So now it's time to start building the ecosphere. First of all, I will pour everything in a bucket, starting with only the water from this jerry can. Next are all the plants. Now the hard part started, getting all the sand out. I eventually did it off camera because it was going to get very messy, but I got everything out. To build the ecosphere I used this enormous 10 liter jar, which is this many gallons. I'll clean that up later. Yeah, I'll clean it up later. The nice thing about only having sand as a substrate is that you don't have to wait hours or even days for all the little particles in the water to settle down. This is not sped up. Now it's time to add the plants. These actually might be algae, I'm not sure.
I didn't know which way was up in this plant, so I just did something and now it's in. This looks like a moss ball. This is seaweed with air pockets. And this is a razor clam shell as a little decorative touch. I'm going to leave the ecosphere open overnight because everything has been in those jerry cans for over 6 hours. The next day the water is crystal clear and it is time to finish the build by sealing it off with this airtight lid. Remember the date. About the starfish. I'm still not sure if it is an Astropectum irregularis or an Asterios rubens, because it's quite hard to tell at this small size, but I think it's the latter, also known as common starfish. I have never seen one alive in real life, so I got quite happy when I saw its little feet crawling across the glass. Did you know they have an eye spot on the tip of each of its five legs with which it can detect light? Pretty neat! I hope it will do well in this ecosphere, because it is a predator, but it is very capable of killing as we saw earlier. We also have a little tiny crab. I think it's a Leocarcinus oscuatus. He's pretty cute. Here's my finger for a size comparison. Some crabs are carnivores, others herbivores, but most are omnivores, many of which filter the water to feed on plankton. That's what you're seeing right here. If you look closely, you can see little particles in the water moving rapidly to the right side of the screen. And then I suddenly saw him one of the smallest crabs I have ever seen. Here's my finger for a size comparison. So young that he doesn't have the shape of a normal crab yet. Way too small to tell what species it is. He's 2 mm in diameter, at best. Here's a live action shot of some sort of amphipod that just won't sit still. This is a really small worm. It looks somewhat like a freshwater fly larva, but I don't think insects lay eggs in the sea, so I have no idea what it could be. You can already see the scissors from this little crab. But all his limbs are still completely translucent, because he's so small. Here's a mystery jiggly worm. And a super jiggly worm. And stop! Go! More live action shots. They just won't sit still. They are really fast. Here's a better look. It's definitely some sort of amphipod. Then I suddenly saw this, and at first glance I thought it was a fish. Then I realized it was the baby crab swimming. Which confused me, because I've seen crabs swimming before, and they always use their two back legs. So I did some research. Turns out, this crab is still partially in its larva state. That's how small it is. Well, that concludes the build and the first few days of this huge natural saltwater ecosphere, aka Seagosphere. I think this is my new favorite ecosphere. 
If you want to see more updates and other projects, well, you're going to have to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh,